I know. I know. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. No, no, no. We're literally climbing me. Okay, come here. Just for a second. Can I film now? <laughs> if you're in need of some love, get a golden doodle, man. They are just full of love and all. Yeah. Okay. You want to say hi to the people? No? You're too shy? You say hi? No? Okay. Come on, let's get down. Hi, guys. and Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have... A massive, we're gonna call it massive, beauty haul for you. I, this is a combination of literally since January of stuff I've accumulated and I'm just now getting around to sharing it. I've been talking about, I'm gonna do a beauty haul for literally months, but we're doing it today. Yes. But anywho, um, if you don't know, I am pregnant. And so that's come with a lot of just kind of downtime over the last few months, just cause either I'm not feeling good. One of these, one of the batches of hauls I did was the other night at literally 3.30 in the morning because I had such bad acid reflux and I was just up for a while. Christmas gift cards, things I saw on TikTok. It's just a combination of a lot of things. So we're just gonna get into what it is. Most of it is from Ulta, but it's like drugstore stuff you can find other places. And then, um, everything else should be available at Sephora, even though I placed an order at Nordstrom. But I'll have everything linked down below where it's easiest to find it. But yeah, most of the stuff is on the more affordable side, which is good since I bought so many things. I have no excuse. It just is what it is. I'm going to literally beg you to not even look at my hair right now. It's hair wash day. I'm literally, after I finish filming this, I'm gonna slap in like a scalp mask and a deep conditioning mask, do some other stuff, and then take like a deep Sunday shower. It's Sunday as I'm filming this. But I was feeling good and I didn't want my shit nasty hair to stop me from filming. So just don't look at it, okay? Know that I will wash it when we're done. Okay, but I will stop rambling. Well, I'll stop rambling about nothing and I'll ramble about makeup. So we're gonna start with Ulta and something I'm really excited to try, Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. You guys know, well, you know, I used to be a huge Jaclyn fan. I feel really bad saying that. It's not like I don't like her anymore and I just don't keep up with her, but ugh, I don't wanna be rude. She just, to me, feels different, you know, like the whole vibe of her channel. It's just not what it once was. So I just haven't really kept up. And of course there was the whole debacle with her lipsticks, which I did buy a lipstick. Nothing was really wrong with mine. It did have a couple of those like, nasty beads in it, which I was bummed about because the color was so pretty and it smelled so good and I really wanted to put it on my lips, but I was just too afraid to, so I never did. But she's kind of like relaunched her brand and she just came out with, I don't even know what these are called, a bronze and blushing duo. I got one of the lighter duos. This is called Lilac Love in Top Tan. Um, first of all, the packaging is like, no joke. Like this is not really travel friendly packaging, but it's very like luxe packaging. Um, I do like, the rose gold J, but here's what the one I got looks like. I don't know exactly what drew me to this exact one, um, but I did like, I haven't even swatched this. I did like the lighter kind of pink color of the blush. It just kind of looked like not a ton of the blushes I already own. And then I thought that this bronzer color would be beautiful. I've seen some application videos of this on Instagram and TikTok. People are loving the bronzers, but not so much the blushes just because they are not that pigmented. Um, but apparently the powders themselves if this bronzer even shows up on me, I may have gotten way too light of a shade. Um, oh no, but that seems buildable. But people, I don't even know if you can see that. They're very light. Um, but people are loving like the powder themselves. So I'm very curious to try mostly the bronzer, but I am excited to dip into both. And so this just came like the other day. So I'm excited to try this for the first time. This is kind of old news by now, but so many of you messaged me about it. Um, but this, I got all of the new, <laughs> literally everything of the new Physicians Formula Butter Believe It collection. You guys know that I am obsessed mostly with my butter blushes, but I love the butter bronzer. I love the butter eyeshadow palettes. I, for the, I enjoy one shade of the butter highlighters. It's just because the shades aren't great for me and my fair complexion, but I love the butter collection from Physicians Formula. So when they released a bunch of it, I was like, oh my God. And it's been in a drawer for months to do this haul and I haven't tried anything except for one thing, which I'll tell you about that in a second. So this is the Butter Believe It foundation and concealer for all skin types, which my fave, Jessica Braun, did like a full video, like trying everything out for the first time. And then I think she's done a couple updates about uh, like reviews on how she feels about it. And I think she likes this, I don't remember. She loved a lot of the collection, I think. I just, now I can't remember like which products exactly she liked, but I am so excited to try this. If you're curious, I got the shade Fair to Light and it looks like it's gonna be okay. So I cannot wait to try this. And I love the packaging with the mint 
so cute. Butter Believe It Putty Primer, which I've never used a putty primer. I know that this is like a, I think a dupe or trying to be a dupe for, I think it's a Tarte primer. The packaging is gorge. Love the like tropical flowers. I haven't even opened this. Oh, it, that smells good. It has the like signature butter scent. Not butter, but the, ew, could you imagine? The butter bronzer has a very like coconut, like Hawaii, you're on a beach smell. And I really enjoy it. The blushes have it too. That, mm, a hint of coconut in there. But this like really smells like it. But I don't know what a putty primer is supposed to do. An ultra luxurious velvety smooth putty primer infused with their exclusive butter blend to deliver a radiant, soft, poreless complexion. Incredibly creamy and soft texture preps skin and allows makeup to glide on smoothly for all day wear. So that's what I thought was putty primers were mainly to like fill in pores, which I do love. You guys know I love my milk makeup blur stick love that so i feel like maybe that's this kind of situation so now i'm excited to try it this is the one thing i have tried just like once or twice and i really did enjoy it the butter believe it skin mist muru 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 butter setting spray this definitely has the scent which i actually really enjoy like I, especially during pregnancy coconut scents i love which is weird because most things in especially early pregnancy like really most of my normal things turned me off except like coconut and rose scents. I'm like getting better about using things now, but this scent never bothered me. But I just love a setting spray just to kind of meld everything together, meld, melt, whatever, everything together. Or like later on in the day, if your makeup's just kind of looking a little dry and dull, you just kind of revive it with a good setting spray. Um, and so I, for the couple times I used this, really enjoyed it. So I will keep using it and keep you posted. We have three more things from this collection. This is the Butter Blowout Mascara which Jessica Braun loves this. So I'm so excited to try it. I love the packaging. It's like this light pink with an ombre mint green tip and then the fun tropical leaves. I wanna like smell the mascara. It has the smell, that's crazy. Here's what the wand looks like if we're curious. Um, but I am gonna try this tomorrow because I've just been dying to try it and I'm so excited, especially knowing that my favorite beauty YouTuber loves it. Also been dying to try this. They like re, like formulated kind of their butter bronzer. This is a matte Manoy butter bronzer. They're, it comes in two different colors. This one didn't have a name. The darker one had a name. I don't remember what the name was, but it came in two different shades. Again, the packaging is absolutely beautiful. Physicians Formula powders, they're kind of bulky, but they do come with a brush if you lift it up under there. I never use them. And a mirror, which is nice for travel. Ooh, that has a different scent than the butter stuff. It smells like jasmine. I'm a fan. But people are loving this as well, so I'm so excited to try this. It looks like it's gonna be a beautiful color. Let us swatch it. Oh yeah, it's, ooh, it's like, the perfect mixture for me, it's right here, of cool and warm. Like that, oh my God, I'm very excited about that. Yes, okay. And then one last thing from the Butter Collection, this was the Butter Eyeliner. Matte Manoy. They didn't have brown, they only had black, so I got black. And you guys know I barely wear liquid liner. I just, the Butter Collection really speaks to me, so I wanted to buy all of it, and I did. Again, really love the packaging of all this stuff. This is really cute. Okay, I'm gonna take a sniff. That doesn't smell like it. Is this a brush tip? I think it's a brush tip. I'm not so good at those, <laughs> but I will try it out and let you know. But there's like a swatch, it looks pretty black. So, okay, great. And that sums up the Butter Collection. I got a new primer, the Wet n Wild Rose Water Drop Primer. I don't know why, I really honestly don't know why. I think I just, first of all, I, I am starting to wear makeup again. It's been a long time since I've used my Wet n Wild um, Dewy Photo Focus Foundation. It is incredible, I'm wearing it today. It is absolutely beautiful on at least my skin type, which is normal to dry. So now I'm just kind of like interested to try more Wet n Wild products. So I saw this primer, I'm really into rose right now, like I said. Ooh, smells delightful. Ooh, and feels really moisturizing. Very, very moisturizing. It's not the greatest rose scent, I won't lie. But this was also, again, like $4, and I know like pure rose is like expensive. Revolutionary cream to water formula. It does feel like water, it, like it's very wet. That's crazy. I don't love the smell. Hydrates and locks down moisture, blurs the appearance of pores. Well, it needs to dry before that. But actually, the fine lines in my hand do look a little bit finer, firmer, I don't know. <laughs> so I don't know. I also love primers, so I was baited by that. I picked up a few BB cream type items. The first one is a restock. I love this stuff, you guys know it. This stuff is the NYX BB cream, their beauty bomb. It only comes in three shades, well, I think. 
it still only comes in three shades. I'm the lightest one, which is called Nude. And this stuff is just literally so good. I'm almost done with the tube I have and I didn't want to be without it, so I added this to my cart. It's just literally the best. I wear it all the time. It's perfect for every day. You don't need to set it. It doesn't crease on me like under my eyes or anything. It works great if you're gonna be like hot out in the sun. This is what I typically choose to wear on like a theme park day. Like when we went to Disney World the last trip, I wore this every single day. Um, it just is just like so no muss, no fuss. You can use your fingers, beauty blender. I use my Morphe foundation brush and I love that combo and it just, it's just the best. And it's, I think $11. So good, so I restocked on that. And these were two I wanted to try. Jessica Braun, again, <laughs> raved about this, I think. Or she tried it and I liked the way it looked on her skin. I need to get my facts straight. But this is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. But the packaging was cute with the teal. This has hyaluronic acid in it in squalene, oil-free, sheer to medium coverage. I got the shade Light. Ooh, that primer did set down to be like a, ooh, that feels nice. Like makeup's going to go on top of that beautifully. Am I recording? Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine if I talked for 20 minutes and I wasn't recording? Happens all the time. Okay, so I'm just gonna test the color. So far, so good. Mm, might be a little dark. <laughs> Can we see that? Um, but it feels really nice, so I'm excited to play with that, try that out. This may have been the lightest shade though. Maybe not, I don't know. I will try it out. Again, my also face with the, my freckles, and especially right now in pregnancy, something about my freckles are darker. Like, I don't know. I looked it up and it's normal. So I don't know, I'll ha I might have to get a different shade or add some lightness to it, but that feels nice and I'm excited to try it. <laughs> if I'm in the mood to wear makeup, like I don't, I'm not always in the mood to put on like a full face beat, like something like this or the NYX BB cream or just something lighter is usually what I reach for. So I'm down to try so many of them. This was a little bit more expensive for the drugstore. This was like $17. I was like, okay, come on. But I saw Casey Holmes do a TikTok about how much she loved this. And I was like, ooh, don't mind if I do. So this is the L'Oreal Skin Paradise Water Infused Tinted Moisturizer. I got the color Fair. Um, and I love L'Oreal foundations. Like you guys know I love, I don't remember what they're called. You guys know I love them. <laughs> First of all, I love the packaging. I love the light pink and the nude. And it has these like um, textured polka dots to it. It feels really nice. And then it's like a little squeezy tube, which is great, but let's test the color. I'm gonna get foundation all over my dress and all over the dog when he comes back in here. That's a better color match. Ooh, ooh, smells good. Feels nice. That like blurred a little bit. You're not gonna be able to see that, but I cannot wait to try these. So I'm gonna have like a new foundation every day this week. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. Speaking of foundation, these are the two products that I've like used a bunch since I got them, but I still wanted to include them. I, especially in our first few weeks in this house, I was still feeling so gross. And I found a lot of comfort in watching the Nude Sticks Instagram makeup lives. Like I think they go live every Friday and it's usually Taylor Frankel. I think that's her name, who is like the main face of nude sticks, her and her sister and her mom founded the company, the brand, and she is like the main face. And I could literally watch her do her makeup all day long. Like she has the nicest skin and she used all these cream products and it's just so relaxing to watch. So I loved watching those. So I watched them all the time and I thought both of these looked so beautiful on her. And so I instantly bought them. And spoiler alert, I'm loving both of them. So this is the nude sticks tinted cover. I got the color nude 2.5. First of all, I love the packaging. It is a pump, which is cool, but it's also a squeezy tube. So like when it runs out, you're gonna be able to squeeze more out, which I think is great. I've been wearing this all the time, nonstop. It is a bit of a thicker formula than like my NYX BB cream or any of the lighter BB creams I wear, but it's kind of along the same lines. Um, it's not quite like a full coverage, medium coverage foundation. It's somewhere between light to medium, but it's buildable. And I just find it really comfortable. It's like applying another layer of skin. And with both of these, they're like skincare quality first, like the skincare part of them was developed first and then they added the pigment, which I think is cool. And it's the same with their Nude Fix Cream Concealer. So I really wanted to try this mostly because I couldn't get enough of watching Taylor Frankel put it on her under eyes. Like it just, it's, you have to go watch her do it. It just is so smooth and beautiful. Um, but I loved the original Nude Sticks Concealer Pencils. So I was like, oh, I gotta try these. So this is more of a cream situation. Love, again, it's like a tube, but it has the spoolie on the end. It's it swipes so easily. I'm wearing it today under my eyes and like a little down my nose. For this one, I have the color Nude 2 and these are both working great for me. So I am loving them. I love nude sticks. You guys know that. So um, I want to try more from them. So I was really excited to buy these and try them and I'm so happy I'm loving them. Jessica Braun just talked crap about this though. So we don't always agree. <laughs> she doesn't like my favorite blushes of all time. I'm not bitter about it. But these are both just like Good coverage makes your skin look great, but they feel lighter on the skin. So 
If that's your bag, I would definitely try these. I'm loving them. Couple more things from Ulta. I picked up the, who's this from by? L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. I am loving the L'Oreal Bambi Eyes Mascara. So I think I saw a new one and I just bought it. I bought this so long ago. I. Don't remember my reasoning. And I love the tube. It looks like a balloon kind of. Nope, that, oh no, that does look black brown. When I can, I like to get brown mascara. But it looks like I'm gonna like that wand. So, okay, I don't know anything about this. Air volume though, it sounds like light lashes, but voluminous. Wow, <laughs> it just sounds nice, so. We're gonna give it a try and I'll let you know. This is being talked about by so many people I follow on TikTok or YouTube or just I see it on makeup TikTok. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. That's the foundation I love from L'Oreal. Um, but this is like a foundation powder, which I don't typically use those, but you know what? I mean, I powder my face, but it's usually just like a translucent powder, but maybe I've been missing out. I don't know why I'm smelling everything but it does have a slight smell. I got the color porcelain. This is what it looks like. Um, I'm not gonna swatch it because I'm just gonna try it on my face, but um, yeah, I'm excited to try it because people are literally loving it. I will try and report back. And then last thing from Ulta, I do have a ColourPop order though, so we're not done with the affordable makeup. <laughs> but this is the NYX the brow glue again tiktok got me with this i also just love nyx and when i you know see a new product i want to try it but like if this this was like five or six dollars if this works well like incredible oh how cute it's like a little glue tube i should have not set my brows today but i really did and people on tiktok are loving it it is very like glue like so i'm excited to try that so Great. Okay, and now, again, TikTok. I love TikTok. I think a lot of TikTok is annoying, but if you like let the app get to know your humor and what you like, like it really curates good stuff for you to watch and I waste so much of my time on TikTok. And I love, I don't know her last name and I feel bad, but Michaela, she's like the makeup TikTok girl. <laughs> if you just type in her name into Google, like Michaela TikTok, you'll find her. Um, she's not your typical beauty guru, which is why I like her. Um, she's like a hard, accent and she cusses all the time, which I love because I cuss all the time. But anyway, she did a, a few TikToks on the ColourPop Bambi collection and I had never even heard of it, but like look how freaking cute this packaging is. I love Bambi. You guys know I love Disney, but she sold me first on these eyeliners of all things. And I also do want to say, I don't order a lot from ColourPop, um, maybe not even ever, but my order came pretty disheveled. Like my boxes, like, it's not a big deal, except for one of the eyeliners was totally used. I'm gonna have to like sanitize it. But like, the boxes were like pretty beat up, and then my palette is not like clean and pretty at all. So I was kind of disappointed with that. Have you had the same situation with ColourPop? But she sold me first with this eyeliner. So this is the Cream Gel Pencil in the color Purdy, P-U-R-T-Y. I think that's what Flower says, like I'm purdy, something like that. Uh, but this is the most beautiful purple shade. It almost looks like a lip liner, um, but it is just gorgeous. And she had it, she did like a soft smoked wing with it, with like this gorgeous like lighter purple. And I was like, soul. Sign me up. And then for her waterline and like inner corner highlight to like brighten her under eye, she used this color, which is the same formula in the shade Meadow, which is a bit more of just like a beige color. It cut me off and I don't know what I was saying, but this one is more of like a beige color right there. Um, and she put this in her inner corner in her waterline and it just like helped brighten up her eyes. And I was like, yes, let me have them. And then she slapped on these Bambi false lashes, which like, I just feel like that makes sense. And that was smart of them to make false eyelashes in the Bambi, cause you know, Bambi eyelashes, you know? Um, but they were so beautiful on her. These are what they look like. I'm like literally 20 weeks pregnant, not going anywhere. And then I'm gonna be in postpartum and newborn life. So I don't know when, and it's Corona and lockdown. So I don't know when I'll be wearing face eyelashes, maybe for like my drive by baby shower or something. Um, but these are just called the Bambi falsies. They looked beautiful on her. So I threw those in my cart. Uh, They're also pretty affordable. I also got tricked into a lip gloss. This is the Thumper Lux lip gloss, which the packaging is so cute. You'll see it close up. But sh Thumper, which I think is a boy or a girl. Did you know Bambi is a boy? Do you not feel betrayed by that? Which also like gender does not matter. But just like, it's not even about that. It's about thinking something my whole life and then learning that I'm wrong. Bambi just sounded like such a dainty name. I, my car's name is Bambi. No, that's not true. My sister's car's name is Bambi because she stole that name from me. And for the longest time she denied it, but now she'll admit it. My car's name is Barbie. Anyway, <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh, uh, this lip gloss. Um, it's called Thumper. It's a really pretty, just kind of like sparkly light pink. Let's put some on. Oh, it kind of tastes like childhood, which I don't know if I like. Oh, it might be a little too sticky for my taste. Ooh, 
We'll try that out. <laughs> Didn't that make you want to buy it by my reaction? I'm, I love the look of lip gloss. I just have to, you gotta find the right one that's not too sticky and heavy. Like I like it to feel just like lip balm, but it's a pretty color. Michaela did not use this in her video. She used a different palette, but um, there's three different palettes. I think Flower, Thumper, and Bambi. And I got the Bambi one just because, I don't know, I just saw myself using these shades. So the shades are Little April Shower, so cute, Falling, Failing, Young Prince, Kinda Bashful, and White Tail. If you can see, it's kind of dirty and I haven't even swatched it, like this is just how it came. But the packaging is so cute, look at the mirror. The front has Bambi on it. I'm kind of over the big, I'm not over like the bigger palettes, I still use the ones I own, but I'm kind of over buying them because I love to reach for just like little quads, little smaller eyeshadow palettes. And like this is a, seems like a good like everyday color palette for me. I prefer warmer eyeshadows, so I picked up this one. So cute. But while I was on the ColourPop website, this video is going to be 45 years long. Animal Crossing. And Sailor Moon. So the Sailor Moon one is kind of weird, honestly. This is the pressed powder blush. I got the color from the moon. This lip gloss is sticky. Look how weird this packaging is. It's like one of those like things, which I don't love that. I would have much rather just been the cute little cat. However, she is pressed into the blush itself. Um, and this was just a really pretty like light pink blush. We're gonna get a room to swatch. Ooh, that is so nice. Let's see if I can build that up. It's down here. It's really, really nice. So I'm excited to try that. I don't think I've ever tried a ColourPop blush before. So we shall see how I feel. Then I got some of the Animal Crossing stuff, which you guys, so many of you tagged me in it and sent it to me and I didn't think I was gonna get any, but then I, I, if it wasn't for the Bambi stuff, I probably wouldn't have placed an order. But this is the Flower Tender Blush, which looks like such a pretty color. Oh yeah, it's kind of like along the same lines of like NARS Orgasm, where it's like that pinky peach, but it has some shimmer to it. Um, it's right here. So I am very excited to try that. And then, I don't know when the hell I'm gonna wear this, but the sparkly green just really got me. So this is, they have like a few different eyeshadow palettes. This one is the Nook Incorporated Pressed Powder Palette. It's eyeshadow. The packaging is literally so cute. You got Tom, Nick, Nick, <laughs> Tom, Nook all over it, or Timmy and Tommy, either one. God, this is a mess too. I'm mean, just kind of, ooh, this teal color is really pretty. Okay, so I'm not impressed with ColourPop's like packaging. Like this is a mess. You, it shouldn't look like that when you buy a new eyeshadow palette. But the CEO frosty shade. Oh my god, that's horseshit. <laughs> Never mind. That is terrible. I don't know if you're able to see that. It is so just like chunky and gross. That's disappointing. Like literally, what am I supposed to do with that? I'll try to show you up close. Hey, maybe with a brush, it'll go on better. I know that like the Kylie Cosmetics products works better with a brush than it does your finger, so I won't judge yet. I will still try. A Made in the Shade is really pretty. Oh, that one's nice. Made in the Shade. And I'm gonna try this teal color. Ooh, very pigmented. Ooh, wow. So just some fun green eyeshadows. I have green eyes, so I do like to play up with the green eyeshadow sometimes, um, but we'll try that out. We'll see. I'll keep you abreast of the situation. Um, so I just used a makeup wipe to take off all my swatches and that eyeliner didn't go anywhere. So stay all day wear. And lastly, this is a mix of Nordstrom and Sephora. I don't really remember, to be honest. First thing is I saw Jessica Braun use this and it sounded delightful. Cause like I said, I'm really into the rose scents right now. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. You use this to take off your makeup or just to cleanse your skin. But I do love a balm for like melting away makeup. This was a little sample size. It was expensive, but it smells so good and so luxurious. And I'm, I'll probably use it after when I take my Sunday shower that I talked about. So I'll probably use it after this to take off my makeup. We'll see how it does, but it smells really, really good. I am so excited about this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Jewel Pots. I've heard so many good things about this. I've never tried it. Um, I love everything Pillow Talk. Like I love the Pillow Talk eyeliner. I have a Pillow Talk blush, I think it is. Like it's just a good shade. Um, but first off, this packaging is literally gorgeous. It's like a little jewel. And this is kind of one of those like cream powder eyeshadows. It's just so pretty. I'm choosing the weirdest places to swatch. But this just looked like the best kind of like rose gold all over your lid shade. It's right there on my hand, if you can't see it. And I'm just so excited to try it all over my lids because it's just like, damn, easy and done. Another thing from Nude Sticks, this is one of their cream highlighters, which I have a cream highlighter from them and I love it. I have the Illuminati shade. This is in Bubbly BB. Again, watch Taylor Frankel use this all the time. Oh, it's really pretty. It's like a... It's like a very subtle rose gold. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see that, but I love that kind. It reminds me a little bit of the Benefit What's Up cream highlighter that I freaking love so much, but a little bit more of like a rose gold. So 
very excited to try that. And they think, I think they have like five or six different shades of these. So depending on your skin tone, I think you'd be able to find something. This is an old fave, but I haven't had it in like literally six, seven, eight years. This is the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua Foundation. Um, this was like all the rage on YouTube, like literally 10 years ago and I bought it and I loved it. It is expensive, it's $55. I had a gift card to Nordstrom. And since I can't buy clothes right now because I'm rapidly growing, I spent it on makeup and skincare as one would do. So this does have SPF 15 in it. I do remember you shake it. And I just remember it being a really nice, like light, everyday kind of foundation and I'm excited to try it again. I saw Carrie Rad, I think, use it and I was like, ooh, I want that back in my collection. So I did. So I did, you understand. And then last but not least, as I said, I'm growing rapidly. I needed an oil something. I saw a TikTok about a pregnant woman who was raving about this. The Josie Marin whipped argan oil. I do really like Josie Marin argan oil and I liked that this was oil, but in like a body butter form. So it's whipped. I was gonna open this and show you, but I just literally can't. <laughs> And I don't want to get up. I'll insert it in a close-up, but from what it looked like in the thing, it was a whipped body butter, but has the benefits of an oil. Um, and I don't want to get stretch marks. I actually already did get stretch marks on my boobs. Like week 12 or 13, I wasn't aware that my boobs were growing. And then I saw them and I was like, oh, which it's not a big deal. I have stretch marks on my hips. I'm growing a human. It's not a big deal. But I also know that like, as my belly grows, my friend told me it's going to get itchy. So I definitely want to moisturize it and be better about that. So um, yeah, and they had scents for this, but since I'm so bothered by scents right now, I just got unscented. But Josie Maron is like all natural, fine for pregnancy. So I picked that up and I'm going to use that tonight after my super shower. That's what we're going to call it. But okay, guys, that is it. Literally, I don't even know, probably 45 minutes to an hour later, I'm so sorry. But hopefully you were in the mood to chat makeup today. I certainly was. But um, yeah, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm not going to give a full long rambly speech because I took up enough of your time. But if you liked this type of video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps help my channel grow and just lets me know what you like to see. I'll have some videos down here you can click and watch in my face to subscribe if you'd like to. How annoying that the light switch was there the whole time whatever. And yeah, I hope to talk to you guys in the comments down below, but otherwise I will see you guys in the next one and I hope you have a great day. Bye.